He don't have no business on that construction site. But he wanted to go over there and see what's going on. It's here. It's not that I don't want you here. Yeah. It's something about the way you set my eyes. I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time I try to resist you. We can get away. Palm trees, beach views, for the never day. All I wanna hear is in the pictures I replay. Right next to you. How I feel about you, you feel as you wait You don't really want to, I just wanna get away Sit right next to you You Guess what y'all? Guess what, guess what, guess what? She's here She is here I'm so excited I am so excited Alright, so King set up his cart but yeah, all of his art supplies fit on here perfectly. So he even has some extra room down here to like add some more stuff if he needs to or stock some more stuff up here. This is the cart I bought last night from, where are we this from? Container store. I'll link it below. now Friday and I'm about to go to the store because I need uh, I need some Kleenex because I'm like sniffling sneezing as soon as the weather took a turn I started ha getting like cold symptoms so I need to go and just get some tissue so I'm not using like the more expensive paper products to blow my nose with I'm just going to run to the store real quick. I'm on the clock. I started work today at 8.30 because we have a board meeting, a virtual board meeting today, and I have to take the minutes. So whew, I am um, going to be working later today. So I started later. I'm going to be working an hour later. So I started an hour later. Let me show y'all across the street because the last time I showed y'all, they were still clearing a lot. And now they're actually like the basement is already built in. So like the basement oh so blurry hold on can y'all see that the basement is like already in over there they've already cleared the lot this is the basement like right here right there is where the basement is and they're literally doing construction and you can barely hear it it's crazy this is what it looks like when i come through my mudroom so this is the living room this is the kitchen coming through the mud room which is so messy which i mean it's supposed not that it's supposed to be messy but it's you know it's where all the shoes get dropped um and then into the garage which i love because it has these windows and everything i just love how much natural light is in this house in every single part of this house um and then i told y'all we got a two and a half car garage so when we come into the garage this would normally be this wall right here would normally be the cutoff and we wouldn't have this side door would have been here but because we added on an extension to our garage um that's how we ended up being able to get the the mud room so this is like a half garage so we got two car garage and then we got an extra half car garage on this side and then half of that is used for the mud room and the other half could just be like storage. It's where we put our trash can. It's where we always have like all of our boxes and stuff that need to go out. People are just sitting out in here in front of it. So I'm assuming it's not open yet, which means I need to go to the next door because I don't have time to sit here and wait for somebody to come to work. Oh, excuse me. Now hold on one cop pick a minute. Is this one also not open yet? This is a problem, okay? Child, I cannot. 
Why are none of these stores open on time? Shopping so cute. Oh, how do we? I guess I should park on the street. I want to try to get iced coffee or like cold brew or something. See if they have cold foam. I love it. There's so many black people where I live. <laughs> you would think that it's like so country, but it's also there's a lot of black people here, and it makes me feel more comfortable. For reasons that you, you, if you know, you know. Okay, but like, why was it so cute in there? It was so cute. That's probably my new coffee shop because it's so close to my house. And it was way cheaper than, um, way cheaper than freaking Starbucks. Oh, keys. Way cheaper. So I'm definitely going to come back here. If it's good, I'll definitely come back. Let's try it. Let's see. Hopefully it's sweet enough. That's the only thing I'm worried about. That coffee shop is so cute, y'all. I would encourage everybody, if you like are a coffee drinker, or even if you're not, like find some local places to go, like around where you live, that are like unique to the area you live in. And get to know some of the people who like live around you and stuff. Like I think it's that is like so cute. I just love the idea of that. Just having like local haunts and hangouts that you go to. Mm. That's good. Really good actually. All right, time to go back home. Get back to work. Y'all, look how nosy people be. He don't have no business over there. <laughs> he don't have no business on that construction site. But he wanted to go over there and see what's going on. <laughs> Alright, I'm about to make me a sandwich. I'm trying to get y'all in the... Get myself in the frame. There we go. Making a sandwich. We got some new bread. This is a new one I've never tried before, but I was trying to get some... <laughs> Yeah, at the store, but apparently they were out, so they gave us this. What is it? Thick sliced white, nature's own bread. So we trying that, and then we also trying out this rosemary ham from Trader Joe's. I'll let y'all know how it is. I'm gonna do pepper jack, do some lettuce. Don't do that. I'm literally in what can go there. No. I like mixing my mayo and mustard together. I got a leaf. Definitely right here. Ow. Mom, mom, why are you cooking so hard? Corey, what you're not about to do is beg for my cookie and then complain about it. I'm saying it's hard. I'm not complaining. Yes, you are. The characters will watch out for this one. Oh, why are you cutting it over here? Mm. Mm. I want some. Bite it. I want another bite. Definitely recommend that ham. It was good. Yeah, it's delicious. It's good. Mm. 
Thank you. My frame just, oh! My frame just came for the TV. You creep, creep, creeping. Creep, creep, creeping. I had to do my hair because I had a board, a board meeting today. But yeah, I just took the minutes and now I'm done. Officially logged off from work. We have one light switch right here, y'all. And it only controls this light. Look, only that one light. <laughs> so like when you're standing over the sink doing dishes, you have a light. If you just wanted to turn on that one light, you could. So you have light above the sink. But yeah, just finished taking the minutes. Alexa, turn the lights to daylight. Okay. That's annoying when they beat different colors. Alexa, turn the lights up 20%. Okay. I don't know if she did it. Did she? I think they look a little brighter. Y'all can't see it on camera. Okay. Let me tell y'all. So I was looking and turn some more lights on. There we go. I was looking at um I'm turning lights on up here too. So I can show y'all the living room or the family room. She left that door. Okay. I was looking at some different furniture options. I told y'all I went to RH and I told y'all that I went to, where else did I go? I went to RH and I went to, uh, was that this video or last video? I think that's a separate video. But yeah, I went to RH and I went to Pottery Barn, got everything priced out. Um, but then when I got home, so y'all know at Pottery Barn, I was looking at the Big Sur couch. But then when I got home, I was looking at Z Gallery and then I found another couch that I liked at Z Gallery. But then when I like looked at it some more, researched it, watched other people's videos when they got it delivered, I realized I didn't like it that much because it's in two pieces and you can't, um, I love how, how deep the seat is. It has an extra deep seat. Like when you sit on it, it's like, you could almost lay on it. It'll like, if you're sitting up, it'll, your whole leg will be, it's like this wide. <laughs> your whole leg will be on the couch and your feet will be hanging off. I can see how that would be, how that could be like comfortable and like a fun thing, but I could also see how that could be annoying. Cause if you don't want to sit that far back, you don't really have a choice. Cause the pillows are gonna, you know, if it's this wide, the pillows are only gonna cover this much and then you got this much seat. So you will be sitting on the edge of it if you wanted to sit up and you had no back support. So, plus it came in two separate pieces. So it had a split down the middle and you could like, you could just could see. I'm gonna put a picture of it up on the screen. It's a nice couch, but I just don't think it'll work for this space. So I'm, I decided against it. So now I'm pretty much back at getting the Big Sur at Pottery Barn and I'm gonna get it with two chairs and also picked out along with the lady in Pottery Barn who was helping me pick out a side table. So what that's gonna look like is the couch is gonna be here. The couch is 105 inches. And then the side table is gonna be directly beside the couch. The, let me, okay. So side table, couch, plant. I don't know what kind of plant, but I need like some kind of tall plant to put in this corner. Of course, we're going to get some window drapery, window uh, coverings and all that just to add more texture and, you know, make it look nicer. And then we're going to have two chairs, one here and one here, and then maybe some kind of little table in between those. And then a rectangular coffee table in the middle. So that'll be the entire living room setup. I'm not going to do a rug since we already have carpet. But yeah, that'll be the entire um, breakfast room setup. And I think getting a table, a um what's it called a coffee table with a concrete top will look really good and kind of mirror this stone on the fireplace so yeah so i already showed y'all the table from rh i think and the lady that was the like designer that was in the store when i went in there she helped me pick out some chairs but then when i got home i was like do i really like these and i don't really know i don't really know this is it I put the picture of the chair to, beside beside the picture of the table and like tried to picture it together and it wasn't really like giving. So I talked to her today, she called me and she is sending me some more options or some alternatives for different chairs. 
um, that I could potentially get instead of that one. But what I was thinking was, I'm gonna be getting that concrete top table for the dining room. So I could get the same table, the one that they had in the RH store that I showed y'all when I was there. I could get that table for the dining, for the family room and get the, the long table for the dining room, the, the dining table for the dining room, the coffee table for the family room, same table. So we're like, we're bringing that same textures and same colors into each room. And then maybe get some metal based chairs to go around this, around that table or I don't know what else. And then I was looking at some bar stools that I really, really love. But when I was putting it with the table and chairs, that wasn't really doing anything for me. So I don't know, I'm like, really on the fence about a lot of this stuff yeah i'm gonna oh that that's what i wanted to show y'all so that got me to looking at some other chairs i was on our house our house our house turn some more lights on i was on our house and i found another chair that i really like so i'm gonna show y'all there's no lights over here but the computer will light it up a little bit let me show y'all the chair that I just found on our house and it's on sale and it's way cheaper than um, the chairs at RH only because it's on sale. But when I looked, went on the site, it was like the first chair that I saw when I went on the site and it just happened to be on sale. So as soon as you go on the our house website, this is the chairs that you see. Now, are these a little bit formal for a family or a breakfast room i don't know so now i want to go back to the art house store and look at them in person but yeah i was like oh these chairs are cute so i went of course saw these chairs on the home page went to up here to dining and then um let me back y'all up a little bit and then dining seating i think is what i dining chairs and then i think they were the first option to come up or some, somewhere close to the top. Here they go. Um, these are also really cute. But I just don't think that they are really the style I'm going for. I do like them though. I can't even lie. I don't know how comfortable they are. But they're pretty. They are really pretty. Okay, let's go back. I just don't want gold. But I can see how that, I can see how that bronze would help. Because it will look similar to the bar stools. Like, let me show y'all the bar stools real quick. This is the bar stools that I like. And I, this picture ain't really. Let me show y'all, like, the whole. Okay, so that's one picture. I just think these are so cute. Let me show y'all, like, how they look in people's houses, too. Like, some pictures of after they were assembled at people's houses. Like, tell me these are not so cute. These are so cute. I think these would be so cute up against that dark bar. Like, how cute, y'all. Yeah. How cute are these bar stools, right? And they swivel. So that means, like, you'll be able to swivel yourself out of the seat. You won't have to, like, back it up and scoot it over and do all of that. Like, you can just put it in a comfortable position and then you can swivel to get in and out. And I love that. But, like... Come on, how cute are these? So this is the one I'm thinking about buying on Wayfair. Um, but that puts me in a predicament where I need to find a um, chairs that will kind of like match, not match it, but that won't look crazy with it, I guess is a better way to say it. Cause this is gonna be directly across from those chairs. But like, look at the texture and like the, in the fabric, it is so pretty. It's so pretty. So yeah, I was like, if I do these dining, if I do, if I do these counter stools, then I definitely can't do like the just straight white and black because I just don't think it's gonna look good sitting across from each other. Um, but that's why I was saying like, if I were to get something like this, although I don't really like gold like that, I could see how it could kind of kind of bring that texture back or that color family. Because although the um, these are white not white they're cream they're still more on the warm side as far as the color so having like a little bit of this gold would kind of warm it up and it's not so stark with just like white and black does that make sense i hope it makes sense like how cute is this 
It probably is not comfortable. Oh, my, my computer just died. Oh, my computer died. You gonna get my charger? Yeah. Thank you. They probably not comfortable at all, but why they so cute? I think that would be really, really cute with both the counter stools and the table. I think that would be a vibe if I got those chairs. But do I want those chairs? That's the thing. Like, are those chairs gonna be com Probably good if they're not comfortable because then people will want to sit in them less. Maybe I shouldn't be going for comfort when it comes to counter, when it comes to um, dining chairs. That's the thought. That is the thought, cause then people will be like, eh, "I don't like these chairs; they're not comfortable," and then they won't want to sit in them, and then they will look better for longer. You know what I'm saying? No. But yeah, that's a good option, actually. I might have to go. I, I gotta go to our house. Our our house now. Ask your father if he want to go spend the night in Richmond. Just me and him. King can watch y'all. Oh, we can see if mama can come down here. Or we can just go tomorrow during the day. He gonna say no. He's going to say no. So clearly I am all over the place. I have no idea what I'm, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna get. <laughs> Y'all gonna be sick of me because I'm so indecisive. <laughs> I know y'all like want to see finished rooms and stuff, but girl, I'm indecisive and I can't help it. I'm sorry. This stuff costs a bajillion dollars and I need to be sure that it's what I actually want. I'm sorry. I'm not about to just buy anything just to have something and then I'll be regretting my purchase. That that ain't gonna that ain't gonna work. I'm sorry. It just ain't. What are you doing? I'm gonna talk to you. <laughs> I'm to you. <laughs> so fake. <laughs> I need to do your hair. I need to wash your hair, blow dry it, and braid it. So I ain't gotta worry about these dang old ponytails. You are not scared. I'm not water. I'm here. Not too bad. Your father gonna have to watch, hold you so you can get your hair washed. I love these chairs, y'all. <laughs> like, am I tripping or are these chairs so cute? I gotta go sit in one of these chairs and see, see what it's like. I need to see it in person. What is the color of this? Our sleek Jagger dining chair collection compliments solid mahogany with metal finished in oil rub bronze. Hand stained wood contrasts the, the metal's warm tones, creating an elevated modern aesthetic and a hand sewn upholstery in stunning performance fabric stands up to every day. Ooh, I love it. Bougie, yes, give it to me. I love it. Ooh, yes, girl, mm. yeah, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Corey. All right, I'm gonna call y'all back. Have you ever had this drink for a little bit? Nope. Nope, there. Okay, so I just woke up, y'all. Well, I've been up for a minute. I was upstairs editing, but I just came downstairs. I want to show y'all what this refrigerator be looking like. <laughs> like, what all the appliances be looking like. This is, this don't make no sense. What is happening? Why does it look like this? Like, I cannot deal. I really can't. Because this is a punishable offense, in my opinion. Like, what is... Y'all see this. I know they see this. I feel like I wake up every morning and I gotta clean the kitchen because it looks crazy. Uh -huh. 
Chili's and got some ribs and then we came back home. <laughs> That's all we did. Um, and then this morning I just spent it editing and um, getting the video posted. I got another video uploaded, but I haven't posted it yet. I'm gonna post it tomorrow and then um, I'm almost done editing another video and I gotta clean this because it looks so nasty. I feel like I clean this thing constantly. Like, look in there. Look how gross that is. I'm just gonna take this scrubber. Let me prop y'all up. This is what I mean by things don't get deep cleaned when this kid's doing it. So you will never be, if you're a parent, you will never be able to like completely stop cleaning because they don't do stuff like. Like them cleaning stuff can eliminate the need for you having to like do some daily stuff, but you still gonna have to come in here and scrub stuff weekly and really make sure that it's clean. With this, I'm just gonna have to like get in there, make sure. And I'm really scrubbing all of the like food and whatever else is in there. And I like to scrub this part too. Just to make sure that it's not getting like hard water stains or mold or anything building up. But that's something that my kids will never do <laughs> without me like having to say it every single time. Honestly, I gotta say all of it every single time. I don't know how to was food on this part of the pork.
I just want y'all to see the difference and how this looks with just like a little bit of cleaning. But yeah, so now that that's done, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, let it dry and then use the stainless steel cleaner to just polish it. And it'll look like brand new. It already kind of looks brand new, but once I polish it, it really will. So yeah, that's it. And I also, this is something that I do at least once a week. And then I also will come back and just clean the whole windowsill because there's a lot of food handling going on over here when it comes to like emptying plates and washing pots and pans and stuff like that. So usually there's, you know, splashing that's happening and it's getting all over this windowsill. So I'll just like take it and wipe it down and get into all of these little crevices a, few, a couple times, at least once a week, once or tw once a week or once every two weeks, just to make sure I'm like staying on top of it. Cause otherwise it'll be irreparably um, just gross <laughs> before you know it, if you don't stay on top of like that kind of stuff. And then I also will just wipe down this part because we don't have a backsplash yet. I mean, even if we did, we would still have to, but just coming back behind this cooktop Wiping down the wall, wiping down this little area of granite right here. Just making sure that I'm like doing a little bit more deep cleaning because again, they are kids. They're not, you know, really thinking about all of this kind of stuff. And there's always some kind of food or crumbs or grease or something that gets back here. So I always wanna make sure that I'm staying on top of that. So here's what I got from back there. So yeah, definitely want to make sure I'm staying on top of like just maintaining this stuff. And then I got one more thing I want to do, which is to pull down, first of all, to wipe under here and pull these out and clean them because these will get really nasty really fast and it'll be hard to clean them. So take those down, give this a wipe because there's gonna be grease and stuff coming up there when you're cooking, just kind of popping around and stuff. And you don't want it to just be super gross. And that's it. I'm just going to let that soak. A little more soap. Just let that soak for maybe an hour. And then wipe it down. I'm going to go ahead and hit these counters one more time. And I think that's going to be it for me. I'm not really... I just want to make sure that they're clean before we start the day. And then I showed y'all this before. I don't know if I recommend it. Like, it's just, I don't know. I'm still kind of very much on the fence about it, but I don't know. I feel like I need better, a better product though. So like, if y'all know of a good stone cleaner and shiner, let me know. But also the issue with our counters is that they need to be sealed. They're not sealed and that makes it harder to to keep them looking good because they don't have like like that like protective barrier on them to like keep things from soaking in and you know they need they need some help <laughs> so let me know what y'all recommend as far as cleaning them and like shining them and making them look good here's what it looks like it looks shiny on camera i don't see i mean i see it but i feel like it could be better you know I don't know. Okay, I'm done. I'm I'm over it.